I'm Tom Schumann with the Indiana Chamber. Joining us today is Vince Griffin, the Chamber's Vice President of Environmental and Energy Policy. Vince, let's focus on the air we breathe. How clean is it compared to the past? Tom, our air today is cleaner than before our parents were here. Uh, and if you look at the EPA way of measuring this uh, with ozone and particles, all 92 Indiana counties meet those standards. In fact, this is the first time since the standard was set in the 1970s, but it's a challenge because as EPA makes these standards more restrictive, they lower the limbo bar, and we have to meet that, that new standard. And the public thinks, hey, the environment's dirty, when in fact it's not, the limbo bar's just been lowered. Vince, how about water, the tremendous progress in keeping sewage out of our rivers and lakes? Since World War II, uh, pipes have been combined, uh, both sewage and rainwater. When there's a rain rainstorm, that flushes into the streams and rivers. Uh, a nationwide program is about correcting that. Uh, Indiana has uh, many of its communities that are uh, cleaning that up right now. In fact, 106 of the 108 communities that have those overflows have plans to correct them. 35 have been completed. Vince, various studies each year criticize the environment. Just how frustrating is that? Uh, Tom, it is frustrating. And, and uh, people remember these headlines, these negative headlines for a long period of time. Uh, our environment, according to EPA rankings, is clean and healthy, and business and industry is committed to cleaning that up. Vince, thanks for your work in this area. This is obviously a topic that can't be fully covered so quickly. To learn more, see a fact sheet, indianachamber.com backslash environment.